Hey guys, this is Frankie of Simply Imaginary People, and this is just a short tutorial on how to get a nice bacon blender. So, once you've imported your object into Blender and you've, you've emapped it, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Image, New Image, and you're going to change this to 2048. Oh, wait. Make sure sync is actually off. Go to Image, New Image. 2048, 2048, and that'll already give you a higher resolution. If you have multiple groups, like I have here, I have different groups, then make sure only the group you um, you want to bake has this camera item on it. So you can have like the, um, if you see here, you can have the, the body um, also imported, just make sure the camera item is off so it doesn't bake the body. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go to the world map and you're going to make sure ambient occlusion, environmental lighting, indirect lighting are ticked. And I usually go to samples 25. And then you're going to go to the camera icon to the bottom, make sure it's on ambient occlusion clear and a margin of 2 pixels, that's what I do. And you're just going to press bake. And you're going to let it do its thing. Well, because it's pretty high sampled. So this is just the normal way of baking and it usually, because you've got a relatively low poly for sims, it usually doesn't give you a very nice um, smooth shading a lot of the time. So let's just let it finish. <laughs> okay, now if I go to texture mode, you'll see kind of has this jaggedness and you'll see if I like look at this square and then I go into edit mode it follows the lines because pretty much what it does is it has problems giving different faces much shading so you'll just see it kind of it doesn't look that nice but what we're going to do is we're going to save this image so we'll save it as image I'm just going to call it test one so I know what I'm doing okay now what we're going to do is we're going to go here to the modifier tool and we're going to say subdivision surface modifier and we're going to put it up to two views we're not whatever you do don't click apply it's going to kill your poly count now it's going to go to edit mode and we're going to say new image make sure it still says 2048 and we're just going to bake it again now the subdivision smooth modifier pretty much divides each face into five new faces kind of and so obviously you've by doing it twice you've made your poly count like 25 times higher but as we didn't apply it you can see we still have a normal looking poly count here all we're going to do is we're going to bake it with the better resolution with the higher poly count just to make it look nicer and the reason we need to do both is because when you apply this modifier it actually curves the sides a bit so it'll have like a curve here or so and then um, you'll be missing that on the texture if you don't bake both so we bake the original so that we have the corners, and now we'll bake the one with a nicer resolution. See, it probably takes a lot longer to do this one. Just give it some time, my computer usually likes to freeze while it's doing this. You can see what I mean by it curves the edges of the textures off, so you'll be missing some texture, especially along the sides. This is why you need to do both. So we'll just let it finish. Here you can see it curves all of these edges away. Right now if I go to object mode, 
you'll see this has a way nicer, way smoother texture. You can see here it's still a bit weird, but I can edit that in Photoshop by blurring it a bit or reducing noise or painting over it with a draw pad, but it already has a nicer texture. So I'm going to save this as test 2. Right, now I'm going to go into Photoshop and I'm just going to open both. Mm, I can find them. Yeah, so I'll open test 1 and I'll open test 2. And I will go to test 2 and I'll say duplicate layer to test 1. And then close it. And if I just zoom in now, you can see this is test 2 and this is test 1. You can just see the quality difference. Obviously, you can um, in Blender, you can put the views up to three or four, depending how much your computer can handle and how long you want to wait for your bake. But obviously, the higher, the smoother it will be. And what you've got to do is when you finish baking, make sure you turn this off. Otherwise, your poly count will literally go into the stratosphere. So now what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to merge down so that I've got the two layers I want. And it's going to go to image, adjustment, hue, saturation, and go to minus 16 and that will already make sure it's the right grey colour. And that's then the multiplier that I'll continue working on. Right, so that was pretty much just a quick thing on Nicer Bakes.